Greetings, hope you're doing well. Today I'm doing a quickie review on the newest album from Sonic Boom titled All Things Being Equal. Sonic Boom! It has been 31 years since the last official Sonic Boom release, that which being uh, the album Spectrum. Frontman Peter Kember has been busy uh, throughout the years, however, assisting with production and mixing for popular music acts like MGMT, members of Animal Collective like Deacon and Panda Bear, and uh, Beach House. In terms of solo material, however, or material being traced back to Kember and his many musical acts, I think it has been like 15 years since the last Experimental Audio Research album, and that brings us to All Things Being Equal in 2020. This album, sonically, is probably one of the most unique and expansive albums I've heard all year. Every song has this high fidelity production to it that rarely uses any organic instrument, instead going for a complete interplanetary space mission sound that's unlike anything I have heard uh, this year, or anything really from the space rock genre, including acts like Spiritualized and Spacemen or uh, Hawkwind. Almost like this is a soundtrack to uh, wandering around a planetarium as a kid or dreaming what it's like to float in space. Songs like Just Imagine, things like this, My Echo, My Shadow, and Me, and I Feel a Change Coming just flooded the soundscape with these immersive Cosmo digital sounds that both relax and intrigue the listener. Really the only entity tethering these ambitious soundscapes and sound settings are the vocals, and they come with a bit of a caveat. The vocal performances across the album are solid, though there are definitely a couple of songs where they could have used a bit more life to them. Um, and in those instances, I wouldn't even pin it on the vocals. It has to do with the risky, all-or-nothing melodic approach that is taken for every song on this album. Every song has a slow burn melody that it will rely on for the entire song, and, and that is that. No vocal breaks, no odd day detours. Once you hear the first melodic quality of the track, uh, your seatbelt is buckled automatically, and you are not getting off until the ride is over. And for the most part, it didn't bother me because most of the melodies are so entrancing and fit well within their surroundings, especially on the song Things Like This, where the core melody is slowly drilling its way into your head and eventually influences you to sing along with it, which is amazing. But on a couple songs, it does prove to be a bit of a double-edged sword, like on the song Spinning Coins and Wishing on Clovers, which has this really cool existential lyrics about uh, cycles and repetitions of being powerless in the grand scheme of things. But the core melody wears this welcome out way too damn fast. Uh, way, way too damn fast to justify listening to it for like nearly six or seven minutes. It's like I'm listening to IAG talking in his sleep non-stop. It, it's annoying <laughs> to me personally. And Talking Techno suffers the same plight in my opinion. Interesting setting, but nothing really incentivizes me to come back to it. But overall, I really enjoyed this album. I thought it was great and definitely ended up being one of the more unique and ambitious uh, albums of the year for me. I know I already said that, but just reiterating it. Though I did have issues with a couple of songs, I loved a lot of what the album was going for, and I'm not entirely sure how long it'll be until the next album from Peter comes out, whether it be under Sonic Boom or another musical moniker, but I will be waiting. I'd give it a...